Hi there, it's Wolfgang again. I hope you're all doing well. I was thinking about the DJI GO 4 Mod 2.0 app and how it helped me getting the Sparks full performance, especially talking video distance. I am located in Austria, which is CE land, like the whole European continent. Unfortunately, that means we can legally only transmit with very low 25 milliwatts transmission power on the 5.8 GHz bands. That low power does not get you very far. If you achieve 150 meters or 500 feet, you're lucky. Interestingly, the DJI GO 4 app determines where you fly and so switches between FCC and CE rules. The FCC rules, which are mainly valid for the United States and Canada, allow a way higher transmission power of 1 watt on 5 GHz bands, which is 40 times more than in CE land. Theoretically, that gives an FCC drone roughly a six times more video distance, which comes in handy. Now, I'd like to show you how to do that on an Android phone and I'll prove the higher transmission power. First, we start with a freshly set up cell phone. In this case, it's this LG G5 with the current stock app installed. This phone does not have a SIM card in it, so any mobile communication cannot disturb our measurements. This phone is especially neat, not only because of its big screen, but also for the turn on button on the bottom, rather than on the side where you can't reach it when it's clamped into the remote. So we can very easily turn it on just pressing there. Cool. I always use an OTG cable to connect the remote with the phone. This is particularly useful for measurements since the remote does not spawn its own Wi-Fi network in this configuration and thus does not interfere with our measurements. Here I set up a simple spectrum analyzer for the 5.8 GHz band. Now I'll fire everything up. First turn on the cell phone and the remote and then the spark. Also note that I've marked the positions of the receiver and the spark with this yellow tape so you can be sure the devices have not been moved between the tests. Maybe I should turn on the phone really. Okay, it's already there. Okay, the connection is live now. I will not move the spark or the analyzer as you can see on these uh, strips here. As you can see we have quite a strong signal, about minus 40 dB. But we need to take into account that this is a bidirectional transfer. So I have to take the remote to the next room since we want to measure the sparks transmissions, not the remote transmission. So I take this go away. So we see now, now we see only the signal the spark transmits. As you can see the peak is about minus 55-56 decibels. For you guys who are not scientists, a decibel is a relative unit of measurement of powers. The higher the number, the higher is the power. But it is exponential. An increase of 10 decibels means 10 times more power. An increase of 20 decibels means 100 times more power. Okay, let's turn it all off now. Now, there's a well-known mod for the stock DJI Go4 app. It's called Go4 Mod 2.0. I removed the stock app and installed the Mod 2.0 app instead. You'll see it looks very similar to the normal one and you'll find the link for it in the description. Now let me take the receiver away, transmitter away. Okay, and we already see we have an improvement of about 5 dB, which is not already not too bad, but I think it can do more. Especially there's a trap for young players here. 
The Go4 app seems to update the country settings only if you connect to the remote via Wi-Fi, not via the OTG cable. So let's do this once and then compare again. Now look at that, very good. The peak is now minus 36 decibels, which is about 15 decibels more than with the stock app, which in turn means we have 30 times more output power. And the best thing is we can shut everything down, reconnect the OTG cable and we still have the higher output power. Of course, no video can conclude without a legal disclaimer in days like these. It may be illegal to use this transmission power in your country. Don't blame it on me if you really get caught. I hope you did enjoy the video and the content presented. If you did, please leave a big thumbs up. Have a good time, fly safe and stay healthy.